The Obama campaign, according to a Pew study, is getting 70% favorable coverage from the mainstream media. Now, that's enormous. It's usually about 55, 45, 60, 40 at tops. Now it's 70, 30. And institutions like the New York Times, NBC News, outwardly campaigning for Barack Obama and said, there are television programs that are doing victory laps this week. Now, to me, uh, why anybody would watch that stuff, even Obama supporters, is just obnoxious. It's really obnoxious. Now, at Fox News, I think it's fair to say we're skeptical, and I'm saying we editorially, not me myself. I mean, I speak for myself. I don't speak for Fox News. But there are commentators on Fox News who are very skeptical of Barack Obama's ability to solve very complicated problems, like the war on terrorism and the economy. Now, there are people on Fox News who are self-proclaimed Republicans, and there are people who are self-proclaimed Democrats, and they follow the party line. Now, there's nothing wrong with that in the commentary arena. If you label yourself, if you tell people, here's who I am, but the tone of Fox News in uh, some precincts is skepticism about Barack Obama. And to some lesser extent, John McCain is a more known quality, quantity, I should say. Now, there's nothing wrong with being skeptical. There is wrong with being unfair. And there is wrong with cheap shots. If I see them on Fox News, I pull people aside. Now, that's not my job. I'm obnoxious. I don't have the power to do that, but it bothers me. So I'll talk to people and say, you know, why? why There's no need to cheap shot Barack Obama. No need to call him a Muslim or to call him Hussein or to call him a communist. You know, I mean, that's just cheap, stupid. There are enough legitimate issues. So yesterday, the tape surfaces, and and there's Obama again for the 87,000th time saying he's going to take from the wealthy and he's going to give to the not so wealthy. So we report it. Drudge reports it. This is the tape that surfaced. We play it. Why wouldn't we play it? This is news. And then the Obama campaign says, oh, it's just Fox News, Drudge, and McCain all in this cabal, which is absurd. I don't think John McCain has any use for me at all. If he did, he'd be on a show a lot more. It's just nuts. So poor Megyn Kelly sits down with Bill Burton, the Obama spokesperson. And to be fair to Burton, who I like, I talk to him all the time if I want to know something, and he gets back to me. Burton says it's not income redistribution. It's simply uh, an economic strategy from the bottom down and all of this. Well, you can decide whether it is. I mean, I've decided it's certainly a socialistic tenant. There's no doubt about it. Now, the corrupt press led by David Bowder at the Associated Press will have you believe that it's just, it's just we're a McCain network. Listen to this. This is Geraldo and Hannity over the weekend. Roll it. I think you do him a disservice, John McCain, by harping on Bill Ayers and Hannity. Jeremiah Wright. I'm not running for anything. But it, it, I think, has it has uh, energized the base that you would have had anyway. And I think yeah. you're losing voters who are concerned about their 401k. Right. They're right. concerned about whether or not they're going to have a job. They're concerned about their children's future. Right. And you're talking about Bill Ayers and Jeremiah Wright. What? They're not running for anything. Crazy. Bill Ayers, what the hell? I, I used to be friends with Yasser Arafat. You were friends with them? Well, friendly. I was friendly. You were friendly with them? But does that make me a terrorist that in 2002 I hung out with Yasser Arafat? Okay, so that's a spirited debate. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what we do. But these corrupt people in the mainstream media are trying to make it like Fox News is a vendetta against Barack Obama when there are just as many Fox commentators who like Barack Obama as like John McCain. I've got the list. Okay? Now, some I can't tell you because they're hard news people. But I know... I know who they are, and I know who they like. You're in the no-spin zone with Bill O'Reilly. 